What you guys got another video here for you. This is another ransomware video. It's called Venus Locker. It's another one that's doing the rounds. As you can see, it looks like a Word document here. This will be an attachment or something like that in your email that you would then click on and you would then be hit by the Venus Locker ransom, which will then encrypt all your files. Pretty nasty, but there's a lot of them that are doing this type of tactic and it's pretty bad once you get hit by it. So let's take a look at it in action. We're going to double click on this. Now let's take a look at Task Manager here and see what's happening. And there we have it. It's already hit. And that's the actual uh, Venus Locker ransom and as you can see here it's now starting to uh, uh, give me a countdown here now if I would have had uh, Malwarebytes Pro or an anti-ransomware uh, anti running on here this would have been blocked and stopped uh, by Malwarebytes but as you can see here it has uh, got onto the system if you had Malwarebytes Pro running this wouldn't have never got onto your system uh, this particular type of uh, ransom anyway so let's take a look here. It's uh, given us a countdown here. So I'm just going I'm not got much on here. I'm just gonna click as you can see here, it's now encrypted all the data here. So all these files will be encrypted. Now I don't know whether there is a decryption tool for this as of as of yet, uh, but I will let you know once there is a decryption for this. You can see they're asking for five hundred US dollars. Uh, and they will then give you a key to decrypt it. Note that you're only uh, you only have 72 hours to complete the, your payments. If your payment do not complete within that time limit, your private key will then be deleted. So what they're basically saying is, if you don't do it within 72 hours, they will delete your decryption key, and then you won't be able to get your data back. So how can you stop uh, these from getting on your system? Well, it's pretty straightforward and easy to do. So the most important one is back up your data regularly and store the backup away from the computer that you're using. Be careful when opening email attachments. Don't open email attachments from unknown sources. Have a great antivirus security setup. Example, Secure A+, Malwarebytes Pro and a firewall. For keep, keep your computer fully updated with all the latest security patches and up Windows updates. Don't use your administration account. As your default, use the standard account. Number six, show hidden file extensions or files, example .exe. Number seven, don't download programs from untrusted sources or sites. Uh, item number eight, don't update via pop-up message. Go to the manufacturer's website and check for updates there first. Number nine, block executable files in your email setup or client. There's no need to receive e uh, .exe files via email. Number 10, don't open suspicious files, upload them to VirusTotal first. Also, number 11, don't install crack software or pirate software. These sometimes contain malware. And also, 12, don't pay for your ransom. If you hit hit by ransomware, do not pay for it. So we'll take a quick look here. As you can see, this tells you all the information, what happened. It gives you the information on where to decrypt your files or how to decrypt your files tells you the price what they're charging which is scandalous really and uh, it will tell you that if you don't do it within 72 hours uh, they will delete your key which means you won't be able to decrypt your files personally I would not recommend that you pay for a decryption key uh, you know you should have all your stuff backed up but pretty much um, once you get hit by this I would not go down that road of paying for it as you can see here method of payment is their Bitcoin pretty pretty bad really and the, you can see these links here and some information again uh, to remove this is pretty straightforward to remove but you won't be able to de uh, decrypt your files as of yet until I find out a method to decrypt your files I will then post that on my forums uh, but pretty much uh, that is it for that so what I'm going to do here is run a quick scan here with malware bytes I've downloaded and installed this and then we'll give this a quick scan. 
So we'll just quickly uh, remove these. Once the restart, so we'll do a quick restart. And as you can see, it's deleted the uh, desktop here. We can just change this back to something that'll do. But basically, that's how you can uh, remove the uh, ransomware, but your documents will still be uh, encrypted here, as you can see. So you won't get your documents back uh, until there is a tool to decrypt those files. Anyway, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you enjoy these videos, guys, then hit the like button. Also hit the subscribe button if you want to keep up to date and be notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you haven't joined my uh, forum yet, then you can head over there. If you've got any problems with computers or any video requests, that's the place to be. And also, if you haven't joined my Facebook fan page, then pop over there and give us a little like up over there. Anyway, thanks again for watching, guys. Thanks for continued support. Hope this one helps you out. Bye for now.